I'm Chef Carol NYC and this video is part of a multi-part series on this particular product which is the gum paste flower cutter set. Now I'm sure there are many people who own this product who do not know how to use all of the pieces or create all of the flowers. In this series I will cover every flower in this box and at the end of the series you should be able to have a beautiful centerpiece, beautiful decorations for a cake or bouquet or anything that you see fit. Remember that these gum paste flowers can be stored and kept for weeks, months, or years. Let's get to it. To begin the roses, I've made a ball of pink gum paste using Rose Petal Wilton. This is about two ounces and I've already kneaded the color in. And I'm going to start by making the foundation for the rose by using a three quarter inch ball of gum paste. So I'm going to make three roses. I'm going to make a rosebud, a small rose, and a large rose. And they all pretty much start the same way. So you start by taking a ball of gum paste, rolling it into a ball, and then what you want to do is shape it into a cone. And you'll do that by rolling it between your hand and your finger. So when you think of a cone, think of like a, it's an ice cream cone, it's wider at the top and narrow at the bottom, except the reverse is going to be true for these roses. This is going to be narrow at the top and wider at the bottom. Now, how do we determine how large this should be? So you start by looking at your rose petals. And as you can see, this would be too big because this comes all the way to the tip of my large petal. So I'm going to break off a piece and roll it out again. I want it to come up about three quarters of the way. So you see it's still a little too long. So this is about the height that I want. So now I'm just going to shape it up, flattening the bottom just a bit. I'm also using a 20 gauge wire, which I have cut into three pieces. So I'm going to take the wire and just make a hook at the top. I'm going to take my wire and dip it into the gum glue. And I'm going to insert that into the gum paste, pinch the bottom, and I'm going to set it up to dry in my styrofoam. So I'm going to make two more of these and I have to let them dry and then we'll be able to start the roses. I'm going to make a rosebud. This video is a do-over because it got corrupted the first time. So this rosebud will actually be white. So I'm gonna start by kneading the dough, dust my mat. Using my nine inch roller, I'm going to roll out the petals. I already have a rosebud base that I made previously. It's dried completely. Just need to put a little powder on the gum paste. I'm going to use the large rose cutter to make this rosebud. So first I'm going to need a petal to wrap around the rosebud base. I'm just going to use my palette knife, cut off the excess, and I will put this in my storage mat. I'm going to cut the first base petal. I'm going to peel away the excess. I'm going to take my palette knife and just open up these petals. And I'm going to put this in the storage mat also. So let's start by opening up this petal just a bit. I'm just going to use the, just want to widen it just a little bit going to take the petal and I'm going to use a little gum glue. I'm going to coat the rosebud base. So I want to cover this base completely. I'm going to start by rolling this in. Then I'm going to roll the curl in over. I want the bud at the tip to be very narrow. And that's going to be a covering for the rosebud base. Next, I'm going to take the petal that we made Give it a little corn starch. And I want to use my impression mat 
put a little detail on the leaves. I'm going to press to the impression mat using my thin foam. And you see some slight veining there. I'm going to take my firm purple foam and using the ball tool, I'm going to go around the edges. It's going to work on the tops right now. And I'm just going to put a little dent here because that's where the base of the rosebud is going to go. I'm gonna flip this over back onto the pink pad because I want to use that center hole right there. I'm going to take the gum glue and put some in the center and I'm going to put it halfway up each petal. Next, I'm going to take my rosebud. I'm gonna put this in the center and then it's in that center hole. And now the base makes contact with the bottom of the petal. So here I have five petals. You can refer to them as petal one, two, three, four, five, or you can refer to them as head, arms, legs. I'm going to start by bringing petal one up over the rosebud, over the rosebud base. Then I'm going to bring up petal three and wrap that around petal number one. Next, I'm going to bring up petal number two. And what I want is for petal number two to overlap this, these two petals right here. I'm going to bring that up and wrap it around. Next, I'm going to bring up petal number four. And last, I'm going to bring up petal number five. And what I'm going to do with petal five is attach it to petal four. And then I'm going to slip it in between petal number two so that they all have an overlap. And there we have the rosebud. I'm going to let that dry and then put the calyx base on. To complete the rosebud, it's going to require a calyx. And since it's a rosebud, I'm going to use the small calyx cutter. I have a small piece of gum paste here, about one ounce that I've used to make the leaves and now the calyx for this flowers. Using my nine inch ring with the pink forever rings at 1 16th of an inch. I'm going to roll this out. You'll notice that my gum paste is variegated. As I stated in the leaves video, I like that variegated pattern because it looks more realistic. So I'm just going to take the small calyx cutter, press it in, pull the gum paste away from the cutter, put that into my storage board. And I just want to make sure that the edges are clean. So I'm just removing any excess. And I'm just going to push it out. And once again, I'm going to use my pink foam, center it over the hole, and I'm going to take my rosebud. I'm going to put a little gum glue right on the center and halfway up the sides of the small calyx. Just going to push that through the center, push it up to the base of the rosebud, and just push those up to the side. And I'm just going to bend these back just a bit. So I now have my rosebud as part of the collection. And the next one will be a small rose. To make the small rose, I'm going to need three sets of petals. So this will be my first cutout. This will be the second one in my storage board. And this will be the third. And I will just remove the excess gum paste and put it in my storage board and cut through and make sure all the petals are separated. I'm going to place this in the storage board. This will be the first petal that I use. So once again, I'm going to start with a single petal. I'm going to take the ball tool and go around the edge. I have the rose center that I prepared in advance and let it dry. I'm going to take the gum glue and put it on the bottom half of the petal. Take my center and then I'll take the pointed end and roll it around the petal. And then I'll take the curled end. And once again, we want this to be tight as we can make it at the top. So we're gonna angle it down just a bit. and then fold the rest of the petal at the bottom. So we have our first petal. 
I'm going to take my first cut out, take my ball tool and go around this top edge. And I'm going to move the petal over to my pink funnel. I'm just going to indent the center. Using the gum glue, I'm going to put gum glue in the center and halfway up each petal. So I'm now going to take that bud that we dress wrapped, find the center, Okay, so once again, keeping in mind, we have petal one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to again start with petal one, bring that up. And then I'm going to bring up petal three. Let's press that in. Next comes petal two and petal four. And lastly, we're going to bring up petal five and tuck it inside of petal two. This way all of the petals have an overlap. Just take your fingers and very gently press them and you can give it give it a little curl if you want. You can give it a little curl and I'm going to let this dry for about 10 minutes and then we'll put on the second petal. For the second petal I'm going to use my veiner to just get a little texture into the leaves. I'm going to take my ball tool and just go around the edges. I'm going to place the petal onto my pink foam. Now we're just going to add a little gum glue to the center and halfway up each leaf and halfway up each petal. So when I start the placement, I want to make sure that the leaves don't overlap. I want to, to go in between each leaf. So I'm going to start here and have this leaf. So I'm going to start here and have this petal overlap these two. And then I'm going to have this petal and this petal will overlap these two. And the last petal will overlap. So the small rose is starting to come to fruition. So I have one more roll of leaves to add to the small rose. So I'm gonna give this one another few minutes and let it dry and uh, then we'll come back to it. So this is the last petal for the small rose. I'm going to put it on the veiner. Make sure that all your petals are completely separated. Press it into the veiner. I'm going to transfer it to my firm foam. Take the ball tool and go around the edges. And just center it, move that back over to my thin pink foam. Take a little gum glue for the center and halfway up each petal. And once again, I'm gonna find my center. As I stated before, we don't want the petals right on top of each other. So I'm going to go between these two with this one. I'm gonna go between these two with this one. And I'm going to raise this petal up and this one. I have one more. And now I'm just going to pat them at the bottom to get them to adhere to the base. That's beautiful. And I'm going to hang it upside down and let it dry. And then I'm going to come back and do the calyx. To make the calyx for the rose, I'm going to Use the green gum paste that I have prepared, roll it out using the nine inch roller and the forever 
1 16th of an inch rings. And once the gun piece is rolled out, I'm going to use the large calyx cutter, press it in hard, pull away the excess gum paste. Using my hands once again, I'm just gonna pull away any excess. Next, I'm going to take a little gum glue and add it to the center and halfway up the sides. I'm going to take the rose, push it through the center, push it up to the base and press it gently and then just gently push the calyx leaves onto the rose. And I'm just going to pull back the tips So I'm going to use this same procedure to make the large rose, and then we'll make the bouquet of roses. I have completed the three roses. I have also completed the leaves for the individual roses. If you need help on leaves, just refer to my video on leaves, where I actually did make some of these rose leaves. And I have also made the large rose and color dusted it. The rose bud has been color dusted. And now I'm going to color dust the small rose. So I'm going to start by putting down a little color dust in the green and a little of the lime green. And so I'm going to start with the lime green. Now, even though some people may say Nobody's going to see that, it's on the bottom. Depending on what you use these for, you'll actually see the bottom, the sides, and the tops of these roses. And when people come and admire your work, they look at these little things and by coloring the bottoms and the tops, it's what makes your artwork look more creative. I'm also going to go ahead and color the bottom with the pink. It takes a couple of days to completely make a set of roses. If you remember, we had to first create the rose centers and those we let dry overnight. So if you're going to make them, it's always good to make a few in advance. And it's also always good to have extras, just in case. So I've done the bottoms, maybe just a little bit more here. And if you recall, we did a little veining on the uh, leaves. And I'm just going to go inside and when you do the veining, you'll notice that it's actually more pronounced once you put the color dust on. As you know, roses come in a variety of colors. I used a pink for this particular experiment, but yellow is actually my favorite color rose. And as I stated in another video, when you use this color dust, if you want to make sure that it doesn't flake off onto, let's say a white cake. You just have a uh, pot of steaming water and you hold these flowers over that water for about two seconds and the color will set permanently, no flaking. And what I like to do is put just a little extra color on the edges now you can make these much deeper in color if you like. And now I have three beautifully colored roses that are ready to be paired with their leaves. So I'm going to start by taking three of my leaves. These are the large leaves. And I'm just going to make a small spray. I have floral tape. I'm going to start by combining these two. 
I'm going to add the third leaf and I'm going to take the large rose and add it to the leaves and I'm going to wrap the four wires together with the floral tape. If you need any lessons in wrapping, you can also refer to the video on leaves. And we have a very lovely rose and leaves. And it's all just one. So you could use this for many different projects. It could be a cake decoration or it could be part of a floral display. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the other two and I'll come back and put them all together. Thank you so much for joining me today and I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like what you saw, please subscribe so that you'll know when the next video drops. Please share it with a friend. At the end of this series, you should have beautiful leaves, blooms, enough to make the most fantastic cake designs imaginable. So practice, come back, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. See you soon.